Hello, everyone. Thank you. Pop on cuff. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning. Hi. 99 people out there. Good morning. Uh-oh. Okay, there's some comments. All right, somebody comment now. Yay, okay, good, everything works. <laughs> I feel like that's the first for some reason. All right, well, how's everybody doing? Yes, I'm live from Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> what could be more fun? And yeah, I'm, I'm out in the marina right now, just getting ready to set sail in just a few days. Yeah, it's pretty cold back home, isn't it? Makes me forget even like what month it is over here. It's really, really hot. It's 8.30 in the morning and I'm not sweating yet, so that's good. <laughs> Exotic. Montana? <laughs> Atlanta? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm wearing a swimsuit even, so sorry guys. Boston, hello everybody. North Carolina, Illinois. Yeah, so I was really happy sailing in the Caribbean, but you know, I just got an offer I just couldn't refuse. So I found a replacement real quick and I flew straight over here. And <clears throat> that was just over a week ago. And that's when the coronavirus was actually, you know, really starting to get ramped and people are starting to freak out about it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty serious over here. Definitely staying away from public. <laughs> Disapproval for wearing my swimsuit. I doubt it. <laughs> Florida, yeah. So I've been in Florida on and off for um, it's since New Year's, really. And uh, Florida was really good to me. The boat show was a lot of fun. Saw a lot of people there. So thanks to everyone who came and chit-chatted with me. <laughs> So yeah, the boat show, I visited many booths, many, many different boats, many dream boats. That was a really good time. Um, man, it rained on and off and that was kind of a bummer, but got to go to the boat show uh, with the captain I was sailing with. You know, we went to Puerto Rico together, did Turks and Caicos, did the Bahamas, and then back to Florida because we needed to get our own boat maintenance and, uh, and some repairs done, which ironically <clears throat> what I went through in the Caribbean is very similar to um, some other sailors out there they just had some gnarly weather and some shit get ripped apart so I'm feeling like we had very similar sailing situations that were pretty freaky you know 40 knots of wind is a lot to handle and uh, if you don't have enough crew there to really troubleshoot and to get things done I mean a lot could possibly go wrong but it was fine for me. The boat got, you know, a little bit of fiber work damage and, uh, and now it's being repaired. It's out on the hard back in Fort Lauderdale, getting all fixed up and they're about to set sail and go as far south as Grenada. So I will be missing that trip, but I will be doing another uh, ocean crossing. So who knew when I did my first one that I was gonna fall in love with, you know, the big sails. And so I just jumped on this opportunity right away and flew straight into coronavirus land. So here I am, Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> Greetings from Cincinnati. It is 8.30 a.m. here. Yes, so I'm having my morning coffee with you guys. So excuse me. Yeah, so good morning. <laughs> yes hello from Boston I see that you're there yeah I you know all things considered yeah it's it's pretty crazy over here in Asia so when I flew from Miami Florida American Airlines called and completely canceled my existing flight and rerouted me they are not as of just over a week ago letting anyone fly through the Asian airports and, uh, you know, I see why, you know, what is it? Like 50, 60, 70, 80,000 cases of coronavirus over there in China. So yeah, they're definitely rerouting people. So I flew over like North Africa and the Middle East to come back down over India to here. Hello from Las Vegas. 
Yeah, I love caves. Yeah, you watched the last video. I, I love caves. That's my last Guam video, so it's kind of sad, really. I've really enjoyed editing those and, you know, looking back and all the fond memories. I love Guam. Uh, how much longer do I have to work over there? No, I finished my contract in Guam. That was only three months long. So you can see how long it takes me, a beginner, to edit videos. It takes, it takes a long time, it really does. And I even have help with my videos, so. I can't take all the credit. I do a day. I do a lot of, um, if I were to self learn everything without a buddy, there'd be no live chats, no Instagram, no Twitter, no anything. I mean, it's been really hard to learn how to edit and try to keep everything else going as you're used to it. So Instagram is going to be caught up soon. Twitter is caught up. Um, I'm really hoping I have a lot of sailing videos that are like pre-edited, so hopefully do the final touches and pump those out really fast for you and get you into the Caribbean and then this whole ocean crossing hopefully will happen sooner. It won't happen like next year, you know, because I am, it's, it's hard for me. Thank Leon. Cheers to you. Those coffee's on you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. So a really cool thing about me coming to Thailand and doing this crossing is who invited me to sail. So my crew, they're, they're sleeping slash getting up slash about to, you know, start the day, get orga organized. An ocean crossing, there's a lot of stuff coming on and off the boat all the time. So we kind of figured this was not the most glamorous time to do a live chat with them. So I figured I would just fill you up on how I got to Thailand and then we're gonna do another live chat super, super soon in the next day or so, okay? With a new crew maybe the bow, you know, all the good stuff. So um, get you really caught up there. But yeah, so I did um, a Pacific crossing, right? So my mile started in Washington. They went down the West Coast, all the way down the Baja of Mexico, across over to French Polynesia, wiggled all the way through Fiji, um, Papua New Guinea, north through Indonesia, Malaysia, and into Thailand. And I've been to Thailand a few times to sail here. And now I'm sailing from Thailand on another ocean crossing. So it's kind of cool. It's almost like my trip has been continued, but only two years later. And another really cool thing about this crossing and the last crossing ending here is all my stuff is still here from the last crossing. So that's why if you're watching me on Twitter or Instagram, I took that really long trip from Phuket all the way up to Pattaya area to go to the storage unit to get everything I possibly could get and to drive it all the way back down here to the boat, which is another reason why we're not doing the live chat there today is because all this stuff is there and it needs to find its home and be put away <laughs> and uh, you know, be stowed and look a little bit more sexier for maybe the next live chat, you know? take you on a tour or something like that. So yeah, I got a paddle board, um, got all my bikinis, you know, that's important. A lot of toiletries, you know, were there because fluids are really heavy on planes and you can't buy a lot of stuff over here. And I'm a girl, so I was looking really, I was really looking forward to uh, all my conditioners and stuff that you need um, on the boat. So your hair doesn't break and next thing you know, your boat. <laughs> Hello from Corpus Christi, hey. I lived in South Padre Island for a year and a half, once upon a time. So I'm not going to tell you much about the ocean crossing because due to coronavirus, uh, our route has changed and um, we're waiting on some permit paperwork. You know, everything's just changing. Airports are completely shut down over here. So there is just no flying north. There's no coming, you know, your west, my east. Um, you know, a lot of things have just changed in the last week. And next week, who's to say, if we don't leave soon and get somewhere soon, ports are closing too now, okay? It's sailors, it's, it's really crazy over here, it is. And yes, I took a picture with a mask on. Did you know, like, being over here anyways, the government gives families of five one mask a year, that's it? Bummer geezer, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Still sexy. What happened to Guam? Guam is finished. 
but the people over here only get one mask a year. And since coronavirus came out, they get two. And there's no masks on the shelves. The mask that I have, my mom donated to me from a Wyoming clinic. She sent them to me because they're all sold out here. So people are literally making masks out of anything, cloth things, you know, they don't have the proper um, like TV mask, um, non-breathing, all that kind of stuff, filtration. You know, there's literally no options over here except for do not leave your house, hand wash all the time. If you touch something, sit on something, take your clothes off, turn them inside out, wash them. I mean, it's really serious. Like people are like dying. Um, they're being ripped out of their houses. Their temperature is being taken, you know, in China, not here. And uh, they're being quarantined. So yeah, I'm gonna wear a mask. I'm gonna do anything I can to protect myself because the last thing that I want is a fever or a cough and to be snatched up and put somewhere where there are sick people, you know? So definitely taking my vitamins, drinking my fluids, staying away from people. I think of where I'm staying as my own little bubble. And I think of the car that I had was my own little bubble, but I had to go through airports to get here. It's been over a week, no cough, cross your fingers. Um, but that's all you can do. A mask is PPE, um, pers uh, personal protection equipment. So I'm gonna wear my PPE no matter what level it is because I love myself. <laughs> and <laughs> myself comes first and I don't wanna get sick. Yes, lots of coffee. Yeah, I mean, all you can do is just troubleshoot as much as you can and just try. Yeah, CDC says the mask will not, exactly. And the who says, you know, other things. And what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna wear my personal protective equipment and I'm gonna take my vitamins, I'm gonna stay away from people, I'm gonna carry around my hand sanitizer and I'm gonna wash my hands. Number one thing you can do for yourself, coronavirus or not, is always wash your hands. You know, don't, don't ever skip that, especially before you're eating. Yes, I am single. I'm just <laughs> running around this planet super fast, all by myself. <laughs> so um, enough about that. I feel like I'm in good health. I'm gonna try to do everything I can to stay in good health. And you know, I think I have a feeling that things are gonna get worse before they get better. And I will be on a boat, hopefully bobbing around the water, away from potentially getting contaminated. And our plan is to pretty much like hang out on beaches where there aren't airports, where they don't see visitors. So it should be a safe place to be for a while, you know? Yeah, you guys stay healthy too, you know, wash your hands, take it seriously, you know? Um, this world is getting smaller and smaller every day, so. Ah, oh, thank you, Dwight. Cheers to you. <laughs> Where's little Jacob? He's cute, isn't he? I love that kiddo. <laughs> he has a lot to say. He's a good teacher too. He tried to teach me some of the Chamorro language and how to count. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cute. <laughs> so the, the plan was when I touched ground here, we were supposed to immediate sa immediately sail in one direction, but that didn't happen. So now we've completely changed our plan to sail in a different direction. And you know, I'm glad that we had the hold up for the last week because we have been able to go get our last minute electronics. I was able to go to my storage unit and get as much stuff as I could for this cro crossing. Feel like I come to the table with something, you know? And uh, and now the plan is to leave in the next couple days. So you'll have a live chat with the entire crew and maybe we'll do a walk around with the boat for ya. And yeah, I'm really excited for you to meet this crew. That was another reason why I immediately had to get over here. Um, young crew, we're gonna have so much fun together. And yeah, I just can't wait. Ah! <laughs> how many crew is it? Three, depending on how you count. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, doing an ocean crossing. I've signed up to be with the boat for six to 12 months, so it'll be a long trip. Um, you will have tons and tons of videos coming out. It is a monohaul. And we're going to go over all the boat and crew and course details with you in a couple days because honestly, it, things are changing day to day here. So the initial. <laughs> the initial route has has changed drastically so another thing is not really sure what I'm gonna do with it I do have a Garmin tracker and depending on our route because 
I really don't need anybody stalking me since I am a single fem female. Uh, yeah, I will be sailing six to 12 months. Um, is I have a tracker and I was thinking about, cause last time we did a crossing, we offered it to our patrons. Um, or, you know, it was kind of a way of getting more patrons to have that link. So if you are interested in tracking me, leave me a comment and tell me what you think about that. Cause I think that's up for a negotiation. Right now, just my parents have it. And so they know where their daughter is because they can, you know, communicate with me and know that I'm alive and the boat is moving in the correct direction. <laughs> so there is a tracker, I got a Garmin. Yeah, you know, giving, and that's another reason why I don't understand where people have to know exactly where I am every day. I mean, you get that with my story and then it disappears, but people want to know where you are. Okay. But I, I put up a lot of stuff, of, a lot of cool stuff. I just, I don't know. It's hard to, now that there's just one of me keeping up, seriously what's happening in the now is quite the challenge for me. But oh well, life goes on. And <laughs> my video is saying I'm in Guam, but I'm really in Thailand, so whatever. So the next videos, I'm pretty excited for, but I think that they're gonna be kind of boring-ish, so I, don't, I think I'm gonna have to condense them, is the sailing school videos. Um, it's kind of hard to do so much voiceover of what's actually happening. So um, we will see how those come out and depending on how well you like them, because there's 10 days of footage there and I've edited three days worth. So depending on how you like them when they come out, like a few days from now will be my first one. We'll determine how I squish the stuff together for the next, for the following seven days. The boat that I'm sailing this time is a monohull. It's two bedroom monohull. I have the V berth all to myself. So I have a nice big bed that I can stretch out on. <laughs> Hello from Canada, all right. I love my Guam videos too. That was seriously like the best three months ever. I can't wait to get back there. <laughs> when I get done traveling around, do you want me to lock you up? No, there will be no locking up of people. <laughs> I enjoy my freedom. <laughs> yeah, most people do not know where I am in the now. It's probably just better if you don't because I'm, I'm just one person trying to learn how to edit and keeping up with everything has been extremely hard. So I, I kind of rely on these live chats to let people know where I am in the now if that's like super important for you. And also my Instagram story will let you know what I'm doing that day because those little snippets di disappear after 24 hours. So go there if you want to know in the now. My Twitter is always in the now. Stay single. Yeah, I might be staying single for a long time. I think I'm going to have a really hard time finding someone to keep up with me now. <laughs> have I had any issues? Uh, no. I think it was about three weeks now. I just did an Instagram post yesterday and showed um, some of the boat damage that we had due to our 40 knots of wind. Um, the bridle broke and when that happened with the swells and the rain and the wind and the bridle broke, the catamaran swung around more and with the swinging and the rocking, um, the chain, you know, managed to saw through some of the bow fiberglass. So that kind of, it didn't cut our trip short, but it definitely was always on the back of our minds. You know, the more water that splashes into this fiberglass damage, the bigger the bubbles, the more that we'll have to, you know, be replaced. So uh, we did get back to Florida fairly quickly to make sure, you know, obviously the boat comes first. It was a beautiful fountain for show. Yacht, you know, you gotta take care of that. Um, but yeah, that was probably the most significant thing that has happened to me ever, you know, but it didn't feel that way at the time. And I don't know if that's because I thought it's gonna die a couple times already, you know, on the Pacific crossing with the spinnaker up at night, or if it's because going to sailing school um, and becoming a skipper kind of boosted my confidence. Um, I do know what I know and what I don't know, you know, kind of thing. So I 
I felt good, plus my crew was incredibly calm. So that whole situation didn't seem as dire until after the fact looking at it. That was probably the scariest, um, most intense moment I've ever had on a boat. So yeah, that happened a couple weeks ago. I'm glad we made it through it. Um, <laughs> It's crazy. So look at my Instagram and look at those photos. Um, I explain it a little bit more. And yeah, shout out to my crew. You guys are badasses. <laughs> For real. And thank you to... Who was that? Whoa. There we go. Chatterbox. I'm a chatterbox too. Thank you. Cheers to you. <laughs> yeah, life is too short not to have fun. Life is also like too short to not take care of yourself. So I'm taking my vitamins. I hope you guys are too. You know, it's, yeah. So do I get my immunization shots? Absolutely. I can't work in the hospital if I'm not fully vaccinated, you know, and especially to their area. So I get lots of vaccinations. And because of that, because I travel so much, I can't even donate blood and I'm the universal donor. <laughs> All right, well, thank you to me. <laughs> I like your little emoji there. Cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys can hit the like button. YouTube artificial intelligence loves that. I don't know what it does for me, but go for it. <laughs> so yeah, the next trip is six to 12 months. It's an ocean crossing. I can't wait to get out there. I can't wait to be on the water for days at a time. It's kind of like, therapy as much as you. you know you have a love-hate relationship with it um, it's a good time to think about things um, and now that I have a lot to think about it's a good time to edit too right I have all this time to sit and you know focus on that <laughs> yeah I will stay safe thank you everyone oh yeah, the, the ocean crossings, you get to play with the sails a lot, you know, change your boat direction, um, you know, just, you kind of get to master your skills being out there all day, all night, different wind directions, you know, different sails going up and down, you know, you critically think about stuff, you know, the waves are different, the currents are different, you're going around tall islands, short islands, you know, like, it's a whole different jam, it's, you know, you get to think about a lot more and, you know, really feel like a sailor than just going out for the afternoon and back. Thank you, Samuel. By the way, I love your Instagram. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, friends from Fort Lauderdale. Yes, we are. Will the shipmates treat me well? Yes, we have been hanging out this entire week together. Um, we've been doing odd jobs and odd uh, errands together. We've also just been doing things like having a couple cold ones and some wine and pizza together. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a great crew. Like I said, we're all pretty much the same age. Um, the same thing. We like the same things, you know, they are ready to do an ocean crossing. I mean, it's going to be great. It's just going to be a great crew. I mean, I'm really excited for it. I was super excited before I actually met them. You know, like I was at home and I'm like, ah, I can't believe that I'm gonna go do this. Super stoked. Model bikinis. It'll be bikinis all day, every day, because it is super hot here. Like I'm really glad I'm in the shade right now. Probably not the best lighting for you, but it's tolerable. This heat is pretty hot. <laughs> Six to 12 months at sea. How am I gonna upload a video? So the plan is I have been doing some heavy duty, um, editing that started I think about 10 days before I got on my flight so it's almost been three complete weeks of just constant editing and um, organizing footage and thinking of how I'm gonna like do the story and present it to you guys because I'm just I didn't think I was gonna be flying around and I don't want people to get confused you know in the videos as well because some people might watch them down the road and not watch the live chats and whatever so there's just been a lot of thinking and sitting and organization to get these videos put together. So I do actually have probably five videos pretty much almost perfectly edited. And then there's the uploading process and everything like that. So yeah, um, the idea is YouTube will let you schedule them. So I, I think 
every Monday is when I'm gonna set out my video on this side of the world. So on your side of the world in the US and Canada, over there, it should be your Tuesday. Don't ask me what time, <laughs> but uh, I think that's how it'll end up going. So there will be a weekly video because where I'm at, I won't be able to upload. I'll be able to edit. And then when we get somewhere with, um, you know, good internet speed, then we can do the whole uploading kind of thing. And been there, done that before, doing the Pacific Crossing. You know, you take what you can get. It's very stressful. Sometimes it's dial up. So, but at least the stuff will be edited and you just hit that button, hopefully plug in your laptop and just walk away from it. And things will just magically upload for y'all. But they should be scheduled and you should get one once a week. From this day forward, I'm starting to make promises. So. It's been a lot of work these last three weeks to do that. I literally, you know, have been on lockdown. <laughs> I've been on lockdown in hotel rooms or on the boat and just editing because you can't really go out and explore too much now, you know, with the whole coronavirus scare. But for me, I just feel every seat is contaminated. Every tabletop is can't contaminated. Taxi, who's in the kitchen making my food? You know, it's just not worth the risk. So um, yeah, I've been staying inside like, a lot a lot which is hard for me I kind of feel like a wild animal I should be outside wash a lot yeah so we went to the mall and back to get our final um, electronics yesterday and uh, I mean it was a ghost town first of all I've been to that mall before and it's usually just a sea of people nobody was there and as soon as you know I left got out of the cab and everything the clothes came off a shower happened the clothes went straight into the dirty clothes you know for laundry. I mean, it's not worth taking the rest, like dragging that maybe into your boat, into your home, and getting sick down the line. And uh, yeah, can you imagine sailing somewhere and showing up and having a cough when Customs and Immigration and the health, you know, they come over to check out your paperwork and check you in. They'll be like, oh no, you're not coming in here. And then you get turned around. Like, I, I'm betting that's happening in this area. Lysol, been looking for it everywhere, cannot find it. Also can't find um, bleach wipes and there's no masks for sale either. Uh, thank you, who was that? Team Fire Truck USA, thank you. Uh, thanks for the info on the auto library. Yeah, so all my music comes from YouTube audio library just because clearly it's, um, it's accepted, you know? accepted if it's a YouTube library you know I'm not gonna get my video demonetized for stealing some of these music so that's where my music comes from I've had a few emails where people want to know the songs and uh, and yeah I get back to you my emails might not be happening as quick upcoming days just FYI <laughs> you can use vodka all right <laughs> I'll start rubbing down everything with vodka <laughs> Yeah, I know, that's a proper mask, but they're sold out, you know. The masks are sold out. They're just not here. So, whatever. And the kind of the theory behind wearing any mask that you can is you don't want any cough. You don't want any fever here right now. You have one of those, they're just going to assume the worst that you have coronas, and you don't want to be one of them. Hi from Cali. Hello, Alan. <laughs> Yeah, Australia's had a couple, um, what, 30-some people have been diagnosed. Yeah, it's it's a big deal. It's everywhere. I think there's 40-some people here in Thailand that have been diagnosed. One in Sri Lanka. What else is around me? Indonesia, I think, had a few. Um, Cambodia's had one. So it's, it's around me. It definitely is around me. And it only takes a couple planes and people hacking in their hands and rubbing on things and... You know, it can spread. To me, this is the zombie apocalypse. It really is. So, the world's getting smaller and germier, and you know, you all take care of yourselves too. Hand sanitizer smells like gin. <laughs> Wilmington, North Carolina, hello. <laughs> Biochemical war, uh, warfare. Yeah, it could, very well could be. I mean, look what back in the day what they did with smallpox. You know. What's up, girl? What's up, Jim V? 
six died in Washington. Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm trying to take, you know, I'm trying to stay safe. I am, I'm taking it very seriously. Um, and pretty much I'm just, you know, you can't let your guard down. You just can't trust anything. I'm not trusting any surface, any person. I mean, I hate to say it, but people are kind of a little bit racist over here. And I'm in Asia, everybody looks Asian, you know? It is what it is. I mean, you just, you look at everyone like they're potentially infected over here. Or, you know, like, anything could happen. Really, I'm sitting in the middle of it. <laughs> trust your GoPro. I do trust my GoPros. And by the way, there is a promo code for GoPro. You guys should take advantage of that. Pretty much, um, I would say 95% or 98% of all my videos are filmed with GoPro. And that's because... They've got a case, they're a little bit shockproof, they're waterproof, um, they're very small, so I can bring three with me at all times, and backup batteries are very small, so I just throw them all in my purse and just go. Their accessories are really small. Um, they also don't freak people out when you bust out a camera, people are like, whoa, what's she doing? So I love the GoPros, so if you're looking to do something on YouTube, start out with them. You know, they're decent, and the last thing you wanna do is buy a big fancy camera, drop it and it's not shot proof get it wet or like if you live on a boat salt water um the salt and the mist in the air corrodes everything you know so you don't want to ruin one of your big sexy cameras the gopros is a really good way to start i think i am drinking coffee yes i am drinking coffee and a bikini whoa you can't even see the bikini yeah got a bikini on my little cover up because i am in the cafe and uh, yeah, there's, there's only a couple people over there. There's literally no one here. There's no one. There's a couple boats, I guess, parked here. We only see one boat go out and back. That's it. Um, very quiet, sleepy little place. No buildings around whatsoever. I'm like in the middle of a field somewhere in, uh, yeah, in Thailand. <laughs> there's a small marina here. <laughs> Oh, your camera is very sexy. That's why girls come on to you. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I mean, girls are pretty thirsty for the camera these days. Everybody wants to be insta-famous. <laughs> you like the new intros on my videos? Thank you. I really like that last intro. I mean, I've watched it a few times. I'm like, dang it. I would change a little bit of things, but you know, you're your own worst critic, and nothing's going to be perfect, and I'd rather just push stuff out than dwell on it you know trying to make perfect everything but the sailing videos will have a whole new intro so I'm excited for that so before I can put out sailing videos you have to make the intro so that it's kind of interesting how I get held up in all these different parts of making videos and then you feel like each video has to have its own unique intro and outro and pick music that goes with the mood it's constantly thinking about how do I make this stuff better for you guys how do I get to work well right now I originally went and nursed in Guam for three months and I was going to take six months off to do the Caribbean sail and then go back to Guam for six months but since this ocean crossing came up and it's gonna be super super epic and the hard part is the first six months and the easy part is the second six months we're gonna reevaluate halfway into it to see if I can stay for the whole year. But obviously like nursing is where my money comes from that funds pretty much all of this. So when you hit that subscribe button, that does help me out on YouTube. And thank you so much to all my patrons. But as of January 1st, I took like a huge, huge hit. So my budget, 75% of it just disappeared with what happened January 1st. So uh, I am funding literally all of this myself so that's that so if you are a subscriber thank you thank you so so much you have no idea that four hundred dollars a month <laughs> does help me it actually goes a lot farther in southeast asia than it does in the united states but i am not getting rich off youtube and uh those that are my patreons thank you so much you actually totally lifted this channel up off the ground and uh, you know, made me feel special and give me the motivation to consistently put out videos. So thank you to my patrons. Um, really, you guys are the motivation behind all of this. 
Because you found me from the other channel and you just made me feel special and the reason why I started a channel is because I didn't want to abandon all my friends out there. So uh, this is for you. <laughs> I will keep smiling and washing my hands. That's kind of what I do these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, how long have I been on this thing? 35 minutes. All right, great. Does anybody have any questions on, um, like I said, I'm trying to save some of the stuff for um, the next live chat, which will be super, super soon. We're just going to get the boat together a little bit more. Um, I don't want to interrupt, you know, the work schedule to get out of here as fast as possible, you know. Um, where to next? Where to the boat? We are setting sail. Um, not in the original direction that we thought we were going to go. Uh, Amazon wish list. So there's a, there's a link and all of my videos, all the show notes, LinkedIn, or not LinkedIn, link tree. And that has a link literally to everything that exists for La La Libra. And that's where you find my Amazon wish list, uh, which I have no idea. I should probably take a look at that. But uh, yeah, so everything from my Amazon wish list goes to my P.O. box and my lucky mom gets to go check that for me and she, depending on where I am in the planet, she will mail stuff to me. So that's been really nice. And so I got a Pelican case that way for my laptop so nothing bad happens to it on all this sailing um, and keeling of the boat and everything. So that is protected because once we leave here, Phuket, Thailand, there is no getting electronics for maybe nine months like that's it we are gone <laughs> bikini try-ons yeah people keep bringing that up i don't think that there is time there's i don't think i can edit any more stuff or give do one more social media platform it's just it's getting to be a little bit impossible um right now i'm kind of thinking like how can i incorporate um an assistant of some sort that's on land that maybe can do uploading, downloading, um, run one of my social medias, check my emails, I don't know, something, because it's a lot. I literally spent three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening reading every comment and every email and, yeah, going back and forth with people. So it's a, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> my mom, maybe? No, my mom is not this... I'm not even this technology savvy to keep up with everything and troubleshoot the stuff that comes up. My mom would probably pull her hair out. She's not up for the job. <laughs> I'm thinking somebody younger than me with lots of energy is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Some of that maybe, I don't know, an intern. I would even be happy to just drag them along with me at some point. Um, the girlfriend that I took a video with, Oh, the, so I've been posting a couple oldies but goodies, and that's Sarah Sunshine. So she is an online teacher, so she um, does a lot of tutoring from her laptop, so that enables her to literally live anywhere on the planet and to um, tutor kids in different languages. So the kid can know any kind of language. She's teaching English. So last year she was in um, Thailand and Indonesia, and this and Vietnam and then this year she is down in she started in Brazil and I believe she's in Ecuador right now and yeah so for 10 months out of the year she just travels around and does that from her laptop and explores and does hikes and stuff like that so Sarah underscore sunshine on Instagram if you want to check her out she was in all my earliest videos she's tons of fun and uh, yeah, if I ever don't have anything to do, I'm just gonna call her up and go find her wherever she is on the planet. <laughs> oh, Bimmer Geezer, thank you so much. The amount of coffee that I can buy me. <laughs> what is my job right now? So my job is I am a traveling nurse, but I'm in between contracts right now, which is why I choose traveling nursing. It took me over five years to set up being a traveling nurse. You can't just decide to be one one day you know um so i'm specialized in the icu and um, my last job was in um in guam and i was going to take six months off but now it looks like it may be longer so my 
idea with traveling nursing was to be three months on, three months off, three months on, three months off. But sailing seasons are usually six months long, unless if your boat sails into somewhere else, into another great sailing season, like the one that I'm on. Um, which, once we go over the sailing route with you, you'll completely understand why I will not want to leave this boat for a year, because I'm gonna go see stuff that, I don't know anybody that sailed any of these places ever, you know? So I'm really excited to film it and to share it with you guys. So, oh, oh the suspense, I'm sorry. But <laughs> you'll find out soon, like one or two days, okay? Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I've been on here for 40 minutes. Um, everything is good in Thailand. Uh, I'll be I'll be taking off soon. I have everything I can need. I went to the mall. There was nothing there that I wanted. I, I have it all. I feel great. So anyone who sent me stuff on the Amazon wish list, thank you so much. I have that stuff with me. The Pelican case was definitely, I did not want to go anywhere without that. That is probably my most favorite item that I've received, um, most useful. I have my laptop, two external hard drives, I have all my GoPros and backup batteries, all my chargers. Um, I am really set to go to film and everything. I have new swimsuits, old swimsuits. I've got all the bug spray a girl could want. Um, I'm really set up, so I feel like I'm provisioned. I have my old stuff from the last crossing. I don't know what more I could possibly ask for. It's just it's just time to get on the water. So, yeah, I did not forget my toothbrush. Thank you, Jester. <laughs> so I will see you guys in um, in a couple days probably. I don't want to promise tomorrow because I don't know how much work we had to do today um, and organize organize orga organizing. <laughs> organization organizing so hopefully we get the boat all pretty for you hopefully i'll be all pretty for you the crew will be all pretty for you and uh and yeah and you'll be able to hear all the exciting news and why i ran here so fast coronavirus or not <laughs> i'm still working towards getting my own boat so i got my skipper and um i've had a couple captain opportunities come up so the idea was to sail in the caribbean and do all the parking and you know like going on and off the dock fuel dock water whatever provisioning get a lot of that parking experience thank you cruise um because when i have my own boat i'm gonna have to do that myself and you know i don't want to be learning how to do that with my own vessel and crashing my own vessel so i have done a lot of you know, on and off the dock in the Caribbean, which is great. Thank you, shout out to Jamie for trusting me with your FP. I appreciate it. Um, and so now it's just getting some more miles in and boosting up my confidence before I have my own vessel. Because, you know, you take other people on there, you wanna make sure that you're, you're the best that you can be. So I'm just working on fine tuning everything. And uh, yeah, I'll be taking control of my own boat next after this trip, yes, that's, that's what the future holds and I don't see I mean if I'm going to be working with a couple other people I will have to get my captain's license um, so I may be going back to sailing school after this trip but if I'm not working with those people you take a lot of responsibility when you are a licensed captain so I'd rather just be insured you know than I don't know I take a lot of responsibility already being a nurse when I'm on the clock so I don't want to be responsible every day. That's not the point of me sailing is to be stressed out and res I mean, I want to be responsible, but not like that on paperwork, if that makes sense. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Amazon wish list is in my link tree. I will put it in my show notes for you as soon as uh, we finish wrap this up here. Um, but yeah, I look super forward to spilling exactly what the boat is, exactly who the crew is, exactly what our route is, and why it's gonna take us six to 12 months to get to where we're going, okay? So maybe we're going to Antarctica, maybe not, who knows, but uh, I don't know anyone that sailed what we're gonna see. So I will see you soon. Cheers to everyone. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I will be safe and y'all be safe too. I mean, no one's safe for this Corona virus, okay? So, Wash your hands all the time, stay home, keep your immune systems up, get your rest, your fluids, your vitamins. Um, yeah, 
take your fevers and your coughing seriously. <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. Aw. Keep your hands off your face. Exactly. Don't worry, I take a shower like three times a day. If it isn't for possible contamination, it's because you're just so literally sweaty here. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Love ya, and I will see you soon, okay? Bye!